Pamela, can I ask you a question? Uh, you work with many, many organizations of all different sizes and in different countries. What's been your uh, experience and, and observations on how those, some of those companies have engaged a diverse and remote workforce? So for some of them, I think it was um, a little bit of a shock, you know, as the understatement of the year to, um, to go as remote as they did. I think the, the big learning for all of them has been that all of that workforce that they thought was resistant to change was not. And so, you know, the big lesson learned, I think, out of the pandemic is to stop talking about a highly resistant workforce and start talking about what we do um, to enable people to actually move forward and change. Um, and so I think the big lesson learned for them was that, yes, they can change um, and the change could be huge. It could be an entire organisation going home. Um, but more importantly, when they went home, recognising that it was still all about how you connect. And so, you know, we saw a lot of organisations scramble and spend a lot of time talking about how am I going to keep in touch with my people um, and almost excuse, I don't want to say excusing, but almost excusing or making um, an excuse around, I don't, I, I don't really want to bother them too much, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm micromanaging. And so the, the, the real learning for them has been that you're not micromanaging when you check in with people and you do need to check in with people. And if anything, it's given a cadence that wasn't there before, but was needed before. And so, you know, we know that the, the more active management is in connecting with people, the better the business, the safer it is, the, the more um, productive it is, the more engaging it is. So I think the big learning for a lot of our clients is that it's okay um, to connect with people and actually now that that some of their workforce some of them big part of the workforce some of them not um, went remote really make sure that you do connect so put that rhythm into your day um, a little bit later I you know I can I can give you a, a little bit of a, a tool around what that really means but for the most part it's been let's connect and let's make sure that it everyone understands it's okay to connect and that you should do that routinely and put that rhythm into your business whether you're remote or not um, so that cadence has become much more stronger when you needed it anyway. Mm. And have you seen any differences in programs that were targeted um, to men and women or across um, broader forms of diverse, diversity? I think that the, um, you know, the big thing that comes up all the time is actually the question of childcare. Um, that was the, probably the biggest conversation. And that's the, the difference between being able to successfully work and whether it's remotely, whether it's at, the, at a place of work. And remember, there's a huge amount of the workforce that didn't go home, that still got up every day and went to a workplace or went and did something. Um, the, the big change has been, or rather, no, the big spotlight has been understanding the impact of childcare. If you don't have access to affordable childcare, childcare or to someone who can help you have childcare or you don't have a husband who or a family member um, in the house who can enable childcare then you're already at a disadvantage and so the, the conversation has been around how do you take the things that are disadvantaging women is that a word um, how do you remove the disadvantages from the workplace or from the work scenario so that women are freed up to do the work that they can do. Um, and there's a lot of those, you know, even before you get to the point of talking about um, how to implement new and different ideas, how about we just go and, and remove all the ones that place people at a disadvantage and, and specifically in this case, women. And when it comes to childcare, that's a massive influence on the ability. I mean, that's why you've seen, I think the last stat that I saw was that, um, I think it was in the US, four times, it, you know, the number of people leaving the workforce, four times as many were women. And, and a lot of that was around the ability to have childcare. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good point.